I'm Ian Fraser and I'm the director of the new Translational Research Institute that's being built here in Brisbane. It's a research institute that's designed to take basic science and get it into the clinic. I'm an immunologist by training and my major interest is in developing vaccines. Fifteen years ago we set up to develop a vaccine to help prevent cervical cancer. That was done by myself and one of my colleagues, the late Dr. Jan Zhu, and that vaccine is now being used worldwide and over 60 million women have been immunised. Australia has always been a good place for science. We contribute far more than our share of the world's science output and also getting it used. Brisbane's really come on to the point where now we can support three major universities, three major research institutes. It's grown over the last 30 years. And the net result, of course, is that now whatever you want to do in bioscience, you can do it in Brisbane. We have all the world-leading technologies, we have the world-leading scientists, and we have a whole group of students and up-and-coming scientists who are going to be the next generation of scientists, and that's really good. Brisbane is the sort of place that you want to bring your kids up in. It's the sort of place where you feel comfortable all the time. You've got the advantage of the beaches, the mountains, the weather. We have the river, we have the city, we have the cultural centre. Brisbane's a great place to have a conference. I've run a conference here myself, know the benefits that it gives. It's easy to get around, great conference facilities, easy to actually hold the meetings. But also there's a lot of local talent who are interested in whatever you're wanting to do. It's a go-ahead place, it's a young city, and it's the sort of place where people come and feel the inspiring environment and really enjoy the conference as a consequence.